G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson I'll be teaching you how to play Other Side by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Now this is a really easy song to play so it's great for beginners. Now in this video I'm teaching you the studio version. I'll be teaching you how to play it on the acoustic guitar just for some clarity. But at the end of the video and the playthrough I'll play it on the electric guitar. Now for the basics you'll just need your guitar and standard tuning and you won't need a capo. Now if you want to master your chords back to front then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you're stuck in a rut and you want to take your guitar to the next level then be sure to check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium which is my step by step guitar course where you'll find exclusive content, finger style tutorials and lessons I don't teach here on YouTube. So let's get stuck into the intro. It's a really simple riff to play. Your ring finger will be on the seventh fret of the fifth string. Now we're going to pluck this three times. Now in terms of timing, you do need to pluck it on the one beat, the end beat after the two and the four beat. So it'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and. So three times on that note and then your ring finger will come down on the seventh fret of the fourth string. You'll pluck this twice, once on the one beat and then again on the end beat after the two. So one and two and three. Then after those two notes, there's a three note run. Your ring finger will go up to the ninth fret, hit that, then we slide it back down, hit the seventh fret, and then end this three note run on the fifth fret of the fourth string. So those three notes all together. And that second bar in total. And then we go back to the 7th fret of the 5th string, hit that, hold it out for a full bar. And then for the final bar, we go to the 5th fret of the 5th string. And we're going to pluck this 3 times with similar timing that we had in the first bar. One, 2 and 3 and 4 and... And in total for the intro... So that's it for the intro and now we get to the chorus at the start of the song. We have two lines for this chorus and it's almost identical to what we had in the intro. The only part that differs is when we go to the third bar. Instead of hitting this seventh fret of the fifth string and holding it out for a full bar, we're plucking it four times. So once on the one beat, once on the end beat after the four, once on the end beat after the three, and then finally on the four beat. So it'll sound like this. One, two and three and four and and in total for this first line now for the second line in the chorus we start with the same seventh fret of the fifth string and then we go to the 7th fret of the 4th string. This time, we don't do that 3 note run. We're just plucking this note 3 times. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to slide our ring finger up to the 14th fret of this 4th string. Hit it with the same rhythm 3 times. One, and two, and three, and four, and. and then we slide our ring finger down to the 9th fret of the 4th string. And we're plucking this on every downbeat. So one, two, three, four. And in total for the second line, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Now we get to the verse, which is a fairly simple riff, but there's a little bit of stretching here. So for our fretting position, our index finger will go fifth fret of the sixth string. And your pinky will need to reach and hit the 8th fret of the 1st string. So just have those two fingers ready. We're going to start by hitting the 6th string on the 1 beat. And then on the end beat after the 2, you hit the 1st string. And then on the 4 beat, we go back to the bass note. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Now for the next bar, we start by hitting this 5th fret of the 6th string. But you do need to slide it up quickly to the 12th fret of the sixth string, like that. And then we'll get our other fingers into position like this. So middle finger on the 12th fret of 
the second string, pinky finger on the 15th fret of the first string. Now you'll hit the second string on the end beat after the two and the first string on the end beat after the three. On the four beat, we'll go back to this sixth string. You'll hit it and slide it down to the fifth fret. In total for this bar, one and two and three and four and... The third bar is exactly the same as the first bar. One and two and three and four and... And then the fourth bar is quite similar to the second bar, except the timing changes a little bit. So we pluck this second string on the end beat after the two, and then on the three beat we hit the first string, instead of on the end beat after the three. So I'll go one and two and three and four and... And for our second line of tabs, our two bars are just the same as the first two bars of the first line. So in total, the verse just sounds like this. Now after the verse, there's a break, which is really easy. We're just hitting bar chords here. So we're going to start with a G bar chord like this on third and fifth string. So it's a sixth string bar chord. Same shape as an F, just up two frets. Hold that out for a bar. And then we go up to an A bar chord like this. Hit that and hold it out. Now the length that we're going to hold out this A varies in the first verse to the second verse. So just listen to the song to find out how long you need to hold that A out for. After that, you go back into another verse, which we've already learnt, and the pre-chorus is very simple because it's just made up of these two bar chords again. So for the pre-chorus, it's G, A, G, A, G for two bars, and then A for two bars. And then we go into another chorus. Now this second chorus that we have differs a little bit to the one at the start of the song, just with the second line of tab. So after the 14th fret of the 4th string here, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Instead of going down to the 9th fret, we actually go up to the 17th fret and hit that 4 times. So the second line of the second chorus... And we're going to use that for the third chorus as well. Next, we'll get to the bridge of the song, which is really easy as well in terms of riffs. So for our first position, we actually don't need to fret anything. We're just plucking the second and first strings. Now we're going to pluck them three times. Now the timing matters here. We're going to pluck on the two beat, the end beat after the three, and the next one beat. So we don't go in straight away as the verse rolls in. We've got to wait a tiny bit and then start on the two beat. So it'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Then for our next position, we just need to fret the 12th fret of the second string. And we're doing the exact same thing, exact same timing as well. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... So that's it for the first line. And then for the rest of the bridge, we have this second line of tab. And it's almost identical to what we just learnt, except for the first set of three notes, you want to fret the 12th fret of the first string. So the second line of tab will sound like this. One and two. And you just keep repeating that again and again for the bridge. Next, we get to the solo of the song. And again, this is really easy as well. So most beginners should be able to get it. We're starting with our index finger on the 10th fret of the second string. And we need to pluck the second and first strings together. Now for the first bar, we'll pluck this with two down strums. And then a set of three strums together. Which will sound like this. And then for our next bar, you'll slide your index finger up to the 17th fret of the second string. And we're doing the exact same rhythm. For the third bar, we'll need to start with our ring finger on the 20th fret of the second string. You want to leave your index here though, because we'll need it in a sec. So there's four strums in a row here. For the first strum, 
we need to hit that 20th fret and then we'll lift our ring finger for the next three. So it'll sound like this. And then we end with a group of three strums on this 17th fret. So that third bar in total. For the final bar, let's break this up into three sections. So for our first section, we have three strums. We start with the 20th fret and then the next two are 17th fret. Like that. We'll do that twice. And then for our final chunk, it's 20th fret and then 17th fret by itself. So in total that bar. And all together for the solo. Remember the whole time you're playing this solo, you need to pluck two strings at the same time, the first and second strings, every time you strum. That's it for the solo, then we get to our very final chorus, which is just a simple chord progression. We'll start with an A minor chord shape, and then we go F, and then we'll go to a C, and then finally end with a G. That's our chord progression. Now in terms of strumming pattern, we have an eight down strum strumming pattern, which is really nice and easy. But we'll be accenting certain strums to give it some more feel. So we'll be accenting the first, the fourth, and the seventh down strums. And they're highlighted up here in the annotations. So it'll sound like this. And you play that once for every chord and the final chorus just sounds like this. Now on the electric guitar, when John Frushanti plays that last chorus live, he does put in a little bit of distortion. So in doing that, you can just focus on the power chords more if you wanted to, as opposed to the full bar chords. But that's just up to you and what you think sounds best. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough on the electric guitar and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. So feel free to play along with this, play it back as many times as you'd like to, to practice playing along to it and see how you go.
Thanks guys, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you're stuck in a rut and you want to take your guitar to the next level, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. As always, if you've enjoyed this, please hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.